Hi guys, um, in this video I want to talk about uh, how you install the trader mod for Daisy PC um, private servers or I guess sometimes you call them community servers um, and we're going to be looking at Nitrado server here because that's what I have my servers on um, and it's a really good mod this, it's really really cool it adds a couple of locations, Green Mountain which you probably know and Kamerna which you probably don't know um, and in these locations it adds a, an outpost with um, non-player characters, NPCs, that will buy and sell guns, weapons, ammo, cars, food, gadgets, whatever you want, they'll buy and sell stuff, and also adds money into the game and things like safe zones as well. Um, and so, you know, if you take a, uh, a weapon to a trader, you can sell it and you'll get rubles, and you can use the rubles to buy something else. Um, or you could find rubles and then and then buy, uh, buy weapons and things. It's really cool, and it works very, very well. Um, and actually, it has some excellent instructions on how to install it on Steam. And the guy who made the mod actually has done a video on how to install it as well. So, you know, you can just watch those. But maybe you watch those and you've got a bit stuck, so you've come to me. The other thing that has to be applauded that is excellent is when the mod gets updated, as it will, um, in the update notes, he actually puts in what you need to do as a server owner, which is amazing. So many high profile mods don't even do this they kind of they're a bit vague about what you're meant to do or they kind of assume you know what you're meant to do when there's an update so very well done dr jones very well done thank you very very much so anyway so let's get cracking so the first thing you'll want to do is subscribe to the mod so that should then load download to your local pc just to make sure you know fire up the daisy launcher go into mods and you should see you know the trader appear now I've got a few mods here. Now Trader will actually work by itself, um, although if you've got a PC private server, I'd highly recommend having the community framework and community online tools because they let you hop around the map and spawn things in. It's all, it's all cooly cooly cooly. Um, and then obviously, so this is the Trader um, mod is now on your local version of Daisy, or if you're playing on GeForce now, it'll, it'll upload to your remote. PC. We need to get it up onto our server, don't we? We need to get it up into our Nitrado private server, for example. So the first thing you probably want to do is just stop your server. You know, warn everybody in the Discord, look, I'm doing some work, and you, you'd stop it. They'd probably be excited that they're going to be getting getting the trader mod. And then you want to fire up your your uh, FTP client. Um, if you've already uploaded and, and done mods, you'll know, you know, you need one of these. These This is what talks to your server and allows, allows you to upload lots of files. Um, if you just uh, look up um, FTP client for Daisy, you can uh, you, you'll, you'll find lots of videos about them. I use excuse me uh, FileZilla um, just because it, I think it was the first one I came across. Um, so what you can see here is on the left hand side, this is what's on my local PC, and the right hand side, this is what is on my server. So the first thing I would do is I would go to File Site Manager. And I would then connect to my PC Nitro test server, and that would then pop up with this. And then to, to find where the mods are kept, if you go to the launcher, let shut that down, and you see where it says Daisy Expansion, click on the little um, arrow, click on these three dots, and click on Open Folder in Windows Explorer. And it says, Look, don't bugger around with anything, you could ruin your game. That then tells you where they are. If you click up here in the in the address bar and you can copy that local address go to your FTP program paste them in and there we go that would then take you to the workshop um, so it's really easy to install this mod actually so just click on trade and make sure you click on Daisy standalone so you're in the, the right bit of the, um, the folder tree right click and then I would click upload and that would then upload everything it's already there obviously because I've already done it and the next thing you want to do is scroll down a bit and you want to look for the um, keys folder, which is there. And this is the thing that's telling the Daisy this this is a mod that's been installed. And then within Trader, so we click on that plus there, got the keys, and then I would right click there and click Upload. And that will put it in the keys. So that's good to go there. And then what we need to do then, and this is the bit that's a little bit different from the instructions, he uh, talks about opening up your, um, what does he say? Let's go back to Steam. 
he says open up uh, server profile folder now this these often have a called different things um, so if we come over here for me it's called config and so I open the config up and this will probably be the same for you on Nitrado so it says config so click on that and then within the tray on the left hand side within the trader thing if you just click on it will say server profile folder click on that the plus so it says trader there so then you just right click that upload that and that will then copy that over to here and that basically is almost it all we need to do now is then go to our Nitrado dashboard go to the server settings scroll down to the additional mods and then just add at trader at the end or at the beginning yeah. it did, obviously I've got community framework and community on long tools already on there so I just at trader save that and then hit the restart and basically you're good to go now one thing you can do right here now is if you go into the file browser and you go into daisy standalone go into the config and then go into trader and then go to trader admins you can put your steam id into here now i understand that this allows you to copy keys i think or get into cars that have got keys one of the things that this game does i mean i haven't i haven't played around it with this mod yet sorry is that when you buy a car you get a key with it and only you can drive that car then other people can't just steal it off you because they need the key so that's very clever but if i think i believe if you're an admin you can you can get into any car and do it that way and um, and that's it, peeps. That is how you install um, Trader. So you would just start the um, start your server back up, um, head on over to Green Mountain or uh, Kamerna, and just check it out. Um, and then uh, the world your oyster. Then you know. I mean, I think it's pretty good. Pretty good as. Oh, sorry. Stop. 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 Rob. Of course, we need to add the money in, don't we? So as it is. Uh, you'll get money when you sell stuff but if you want money to spawn in around the map what you need to do and he tells you how to do it down the bottom there we go you need to add money to your types file so if you open up your types.xml um, and you can add uh, rubles um, 1 5 10 25 50 and 100 and then if you put you know basically uh, he's done it so that 150 of each one of these types of currency will will spawn in the map um, and they'll spawn in towns villages and hunting places uh, they're classed as a tool so you know you'll so you'll find them around the uh, around the map that way so and then you would then upload that to your types restart the server and then you'll have money spawning in so not only will be able to people be able to find stuff and then sell it at traders uh, at the trading post but they'll be able to find money as well and, and then trade it there what I'll do with this is I will take this file here this snippet of this file and I will upload it to github so that you can just um, copy and paste it out and then paste it into the bottom of your types dot XML and upload it to your uh, nitrado private server so there we go that really is the end <laughs> and uh, that's you know that gives you a nice basic trader two trading posts you've got the money spawning in and i think it's great i think it adds something very interesting to uh, to a daisy especially a pve um server or well actually pve to pvp as well because it means that people don't have to run around um looking for guns isn't it you know they could if they find something else they can go and sell that stuff I mean, it is expensive, and obviously the the next step really that you may want to do would be to go into the um, files. Where are we? If we come out of here, uh, you can go into the trader config files, 
and you can set the prices for everything the buy and sell prices which is obviously very powerful just be careful about things like um bullets make sure it's not you know cheaper to buy a box of bullets and then unpack it and then sell it back <laughs> <laughs> otherwise people will be making lots of money but anyway there we go that's sort of t um, dipping our toe in the water of the trader mob, mob hopefully that's helpful um, if you found the video useful hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and of course I'll see you again soon